Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and this video is about a visit that we're going to make today to June and Jimmy Blake's garden and I'm going to introduce you again to Alberto who's from the Orchidaholic channel and if you haven't subscribed to him already you really definitely should and we're linking to that up again Alberto just reached a thousand subscribers and if you're not subscribed why not yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so Alberto, what do you want to say? Uh, well, I'm from Italy. I knew Rachel from, from YouTube. And now I'm here helping her with the, with the garden to, keep, uh, making, to prepare it for the winter mm -hmm. and for the spring next year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're off to Jimmy and June Blake's. And stay tuned, I think this is going to be a bit of a long video because we're going to see the gardens and then Alberto is going to give his opinion about them. So <laughs> stay tuned for that.
So my impressions on the two gardens we saw yesterday. Um, I'll start from the one, uh, the first one we saw, that is the June's, uh, June's garden. And the first impression is that it's really well thought through. Everything is in is in exact exact place she wanted it to be, and um, and overall it is yeah just beautiful. Uh, each uh, there are these huge beds, uh, flower beds, and I think each one is a little bit different. In each one there is just um, for example one has more grasses, ornamental grasses. One has more dahlias, and each one has its focus. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, lovely the um, the water um, how it is called the water feature the water, the water feature is absolutely amazing and well thought uh, too Rachel explained to me that it is uh, it is made in a way that you always have the reflection of of uh, the trees around so absolutely amazing and uh, yeah it it looks um, maybe. More, more traditional, not in, in in the sense that it at at first look overall it is uh, quite a traditional uh, looking uh, garden maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's but this is my impression. Maybe I'm not an expert in, in garden visiting. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I just loved loved it. Uh, you can really get through the beds and mm -hmm. finding yourself absolutely uh, enclosed in the beds itself. So. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And uh, the second one we visited it was the one of Jimmy's. Well, yeah, it is full of hidden treasure, I must say, because uh, maybe when you walk around it, you don't see them at mm. first. But if you really keep attention of, 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 at the plants that are planted, you really see things you never saw uh, before. So really, uh, uh, from a botany, botanic interest point of view, it is really something um, you should look forward, so you, you have to go there and search for those hidden treasure. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, maybe there are a little more exotic touch, at least this year. A lot of banana trees, uh, very interesting banana, t banana trees with uh, interesting leaves. Uh, I remember the red one or the striped one, yeah. absolutely amazing. And. Uh, and well, there is all, there is n not just only the uh, let's say the garden part, so with the beds full of flowers, and there are also the it con the garden continues with the valley and the meadow, and it is really 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 different, but because it is really something um, that it is it doesn't seem man created. It is not man created. It is. Uh, managed, but just a little, so it is uh, absolutely more natural. I loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what would be your favorite plant that you saw yesterday uh, at the gardens? One for each garden, uh, if you like. So, in Jimmy's garden, there were quite a lot of salvias. Uh, there was a, a ga the salvia garden also. And some of them were really, really interesting. I don't remember the name of the species of the cultivars, but there were some really good. And in June's garden, I don't have one single plant, but there were many with a yellow flower. And we were there in not a particularly sunny day, so they were really, really good uh, for brighten up the garden, really. Uh, they were really sh showing off, and they were really good looking. We were good to, to watch. <laughs> yeah. I think I felt exactly the same way you did about most things. <laughs> the <garden. laughs> It was a good day, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Thanks very much for your <laughs> observations, Alberto. <laughs> and I'll put you on the spot again soon for another video. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Bye. Bye. <laughs>